feeling any better? No. But I will. Hey, how'd your last job go? If I come back breathing, it went fine. <laughs> Straight truth there. Just got back myself. Damn Titan nearly took my arm off. Always something, huh? Owen stopped by. Wanted to make sure your records were in order. No worries, though. A Titan won't stop me from keeping this place organized. How'd you end up as our record keeper anyway? You don't seem the desk type. Layers, buddy. We all got him. You want a well-placed shot or a well-kept ledger? Ask Lucky Jack. We all do our bit for the family, right? So you're the cousin who enjoys paperwork. And taking on scars. Keeping things balanced. It's what I do. The point is, we got each other's backs. It's not like we got anyone else in our corner. Not today, but we'll turn things around. That's the spirit right there. We need freelancers to bring in contracts, get the work done. The better the Enclave does, the better we all do, right? Well, I've got reports to update before I'm back out there. Striders to save, relics to silence, you know how it is. My savior, and the reason Scars aren't feasting on my liver right this minute. Bloody Scars. The spike in their activity has really thrown off my research. What are you working on, exactly? I'm looking for a lost Arcanist text known as the Elysian Manuscript. It was inscribed by early members of our order and has been lost for generations. Some Arcanists believe that their writings could help us predict the behavior of Shaper instruments. Imagine knowing Ferelic will create firestorms or scorpions or shatter you into a thousand pieces. We could keep people safe. Indeed. Every little piece of knowledge we can scrape together helps. You're making progress? The heroic work done by my assistants, may they continue to seek answers beyond this life, led to a discovery. Turns out there was a far more ingenious way to pass knowledge along. Invisible runes. Invisible? Runes, yes. How do I... Aha! I piqued your curiosity. You'll just have to continue on this adventure to find out, won't you? My... Uh... Our research has revealed a potential site that may answer our questions. Just point me in the right direction.
dispatching in Arcanus Matthias. So how did you learn about where we're headed? From very old field notes. There was something the writer wasn't saying. Something important they didn't write down. I'm certain of it. So you had a hunch. A hypothesis. Right. What secrets must they hold? Let's find out. some type, something other Arcanists can recognize. Shaper object across from the marker is made for echoes. Got it. Let's build a fire. Some slimy threads. Ah, yes. Unpleasant. They're fascinating creatures, but only from very far away. I love with the lights on. Another echo should be close.
Matthias, how did you do this work without freelancer help? Sir. Here's an associate. Sir. This task alone would certainly require many uncomfortable nights in the jungle. This book you're looking for. The Elysian Manuscript. Right. Um, what do you think you'll find in there? Find? Well, Marcus pursued the truth, but time twists truth, hides it. The manuscript is a window to a very old truth.
Freelancer? Freelancer, yes, excellent, you're here. Matthias, uh, need something? Need something? Oh, no, no, no. Have something. You remember that strange energy the runes emitted? I remember you mentioning something while I collected them. I managed to isolate and identify the energy pattern. I passed it along to your cipher. Who can now help me find those invisible runes? Which are the key to unlocking another impenetrable mystery. Which means you want me to go find more of them. Yes, the more the better. With enough, I'm certain I can find the location of the Elysian Manuscript. Certain. I have several leads. It's very promising. Talk later. You got it, Matthias. Ertasen. Ah, Freelancer. What can Matthias Errol Sumner help you with today? I just wanted to see how you were doing. My research is progressing. I'm still alive and very happy about it. I intended to buy you a drink as thanks for the rescue, but then I remember being banned from the bar. That uh, you're banned? Why? For, uh, starting fights. Not proud of it, it just happened. One minute someone's mocking Von Blatt's theory of diurnal obsolescence, the next minute you got bloody knuckles. You know how it is. I don't actually know how it is. Von Blatt's theory is a foundational Arcanist principle. It deserved to be defended. With your fists. Like I said, not proud. Growing up in the streets of Helios, you pick up some bad habits. Discourse, dialogue, civility, the Arcanist ways, those I had to learn. Lashing out is instinct. I didn't know you grew up on the streets. I don't advertise it. You should be proud. You're a survivor. This world needs more Arcanists like you. Like me? You want more kids orphaned young with to fend for themselves? I, I didn't mean. I get it. Fewer soft bookish types, more bloody knuckles and cynicism. You know, I prefer a world where no one gets calluses on their soul. But that's not the world we live in. Complete acceptance of the world's failings inhibits the will to change it. And we can change it. Through knowledge, we can make the world better. That's what the Arcanist Order does. That's what I do. Speaking of which, I have some experiments to oversee. I don't want something to blow up and make orphans. Heard Tassin mumbling about the Dominion? Did you know I once hid in a mound of rotting fungus to avoid one of their patrols? Rashes for days. Wonderful you have some time to help. I have several things that need attention, especially finding more of those runes. out for a walk. Sorry, Freelancer, I'm busy. Come back later.
So, what are you after today? Matthias Sumner. Is he really banned from the bar? That arcanist? Oh, yeah. Technically, he's not allowed within half a click, but the fort's not that big. Half a click? He didn't mention that. What happened exactly? He's sitting over there with a bunch of brains. They had about five rounds of silver, no sign of drying up. They start arguing about some nonsense. I don't know what got said, but Matthias throws a drink at one guy. Then Genius Boy stands up on the table, shouts, Do the math or shove off! And flings himself at the guy. Smashed the hell out of the table. Tried to stab a guy with a busted chair leg. I had to call the Sentinels. Huh, I guess he really likes math. Yeah, that makes it all better. Anyways, everything going all right around here lately? No curses or anything? Doesn't work like that. Guy before Dusty, Zeno something, took over, changed the name to the Black Emporium, two months later, hit by lightning, inside the fort. Sentinels found him fried to a crisp and fused to his chair in the back room. Glitch crap just happens. You don't hear about it beforehand. I see plenty of things in the jungle just as weird as that. The further out into the frontier you go, the more glitched it gets. I'm not sweating it. Besides, this is the only spot to get a drink between Antium and glitching Allheim. It's worth nearly as much as the city of Helios. I'm not giving that up for a scary story. Oh, hello there. Got a few minutes? Do I? Of course I do. You're my favorite Lancer. I am. Or am I your only Lancer? Yeah, mostly, yes. But you do know that I pick up the old extra contract. A fella's gotta eat. I like to be open to opportunity when it strikes. That's cool, right? Of course, I'm not a monster. We all gotta eat, even me. Absolutely. I appreciate it, mate. However... I do think we make a particularly good team. Don't you? What's up, Owen? Feeling insecure? What? No. Moving on. Anyway, things look better now that Corvus is interested. You're rescuing that Matthias fellow reminded me of the Scar Nightmare that was our first contract. Time's done. That was crazy. I'd only been in Tarsus for a few weeks, and here I was, working with the Lancer who survived the Heart of Rage. I was pretty chuffed. Life for this poor wayward cipher was suddenly looking up. What do you mean, poor wayward? Uh... After I left the Satomi, I bounced around a lot. I had a gig on a Strider, wandered around Antium. You may have noticed I get bored very easily. Life's what you make it. You really believe that? Yeah, I do. I envy you. I'll have to think about that. Oh, and is it true what they say? That every cipher's a little broken? Since we're having a bit of a heart-to-heart, -heart, thought maybe I could ask. Looking for the root of my insecurity? I've opened a can of worms. No, no, no. Knowledge is power, right? So yeah, every cipher is a little broken. Or a lot broken. You don't hone the ability to link minds without suffering... a loss somewhere else. It's different for everyone. Often it's small, but sometimes it... leaves you unable to function. Like, dead? Huh? No, never dead. You seem to have come out okay. Plus, you're a great cipher. Thank you. And when I'm my own Lancer, then everyone will see how extra amazing I am. Why not just try to be a better cipher? I thought life's what you make it. Gotta buy into your own idealism, mate. Plus, there are plenty of level blah blah ciphers around. What's amazing about that? Should I ask how it's going? With the lessons? Well, it's more of a book, actually, but I'm working hard. Turns out I'm a natural. You know, it took me years, right? Yes, yes. But that's you. Anyway...
You're an interesting guy. Thanks. But, word of warning. I wouldn't get too close if I were you. Kidding! Haha, <laughs> you know how I feel about mush. <laughs> Seriously though, that, that means a lot. Lucky Jack. Keeping busy? You know it. Just had a contract dealing with Scars. I show up and they're messing with a relic. Good thing some buddies jump on the call. We've got Elementals swarming, Scars everywhere, then a love-struck Korox shows up. What happened? Teamwork, fancy flying, and one heck of a lucky shot. Next thing I know, the relic's silent, the Korox has a new friend, and we come out all right. Starting to see where you got the nickname. It could have gone straight sideways, I'm telling you, but that's what family's for. Stronger together, right? Backup's handy, but it's nice to fly out solo, too. Time in your own, just you and a cipher against the wild. I hear you. Whatever's right for the moment. My next gig might be solo at this point. Is there a problem? My buddies and I thought we'd team up on another contract. Last one went well, so why not, right? Now they can't agree which job to take. I just want something logged in the pending contracts report. And what are your options? An arcanist looking for a lost vault. Gotta love some mystery. Or the fort needs people to take on hostile wildlife. Guaranteed action there. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the creatures out there keeps you sharp. Makes the fort safer, too. That's what we're here for, isn't it? I'm all for that. All right, buddy. Using you as the tiebreaker. Wish me luck. I'm not sure you need it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you around. Hey! Laundry is like life. If you ever get it all sorted out... I'm so glad to see you. I've been wanting to warn you about the bar owner. Okay. Her name is Max. All right. Now be careful with her. I'm telling you this as a friend. So you think we're pals or something? Yes. I feel very close to you. I mean, that's why I'm telling you this. It's for your safety. Got it. Okay. So I heard... Max has connections to the regulators. Word in the fort is, if you owe her money and don't pay up, you could end up face down in a scar encampment, torn apart by Wyvern. But if she's got regulator connections, why wouldn't she turn you over to them? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard, because I don't want you to get hurt. Mm, thanks for the heads up. You're welcome, my friend.
seen better days, hasn't it? There's more crits than people down there, I think. records. I would dearly love to find them. Understood. Let's see what I can do. Tuning points today, just time to find the right script frequencies. Got it. Keep going. Well done. Well, something important has just come up. Take one. Got a lead on some additional ruins. I'm keen to capture them. I'll check it out.
sufficient. I think we have enough. Marvelous. And I have another task for you, actually. The clearing perfect for a research camp is occupied. Take care of it. Heading over there. Destroy everything.
You're a merchant? What are you selling? You're a freelancer, right? What gave me away? The freelancer logo. Yeah, I was... Oh, never mind. Do you need something? What does it cost to... to contract you? It changes, depending on the ask. My grain supplier put his business on hold until he can resolve some sort of family argument. That's a little out of the freelancer purview, I'm afraid. Oh, no. What's going on exactly? It's... It's my business. My parents are gone, and it's just me now. I'm Mora, by the way. I sell fruits, uh, vegetables, but most of my sales were in grains. Bakeries. But now your suppliers stopped shipping grain because of his family argument. Right. But I have a solution. At least, I, I think I have a solution. What's that? A farm. An inside farm. Self-sustainable, indoor farming. You'd never have to go outside the walls. I figured out a way. I did. I built a prototype. Just one seed. But it's sprouting. Sounds like it would solve your problem. You should make one. I would, but I don't have the resources. I need support, financial support. You might still find the opportunity. Maybe fruit sales will pick up. Maybe, still. Thank you for listening. You were very kind to a stranger. Well, that's the freelancer way, mostly. It was good to meet you. And if you ever do need fruit. I know where to find you. I have it. I finally have it. What's going on? The runes were indeed the key. Madness to think they were there all the time, waiting. You found something? An excellent question, to which I have an excellent answer. The final resting place of the Elysian Manuscript. Sounds like I'm going on expedition. The runes speak of a special vault in a high tower built on a mountaintop. Objects of power were brought there. Shaper relics, artifacts from beyond the Hesperian Tide. And a manuscript? Indeed. A very special manuscript. Okay, tower on a mountaintop. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, Freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived Strider ambushes, Dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from Wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. 
Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. Why were you the only survivor? If I'd have shared that water, nobody would have lived. So you chose to let five people die to save yourself? I told you, I'm a pragmatist. I guess that's why you're the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. Don't you judge me. You've seen death. You've done things. I can see it in your eyes. It's usually a glint of sadness or knowledge, but in some people, that glint turns into a gleam. And a gleam means they want to see more death. Be careful, freelancer. I still see a glint in your eyes. I apologize for being a little crabby during our last chat. Guess I touched a nerve. Yes, but I didn't have to respond as poorly as I did. Anger can be an asset, Matthias, but peevishness is just bad manners. My mentor, Philo Ray. One of the lessons it seems I still haven't quite learned. Philo Ray taught you? I've heard she was a brilliant arcanist. And the reason I'm not dead in a ditch. How did you meet? I, uh, uh robbed her. That really was not what I was expecting. She was a fancy lady, I was a street kid, what would you have done? Okay, fine. I probably would have robbed her too. Can you blame me? All I saw was a case full of expensive looking things. I knew they had to be worth something to someone, so I grabbed the case. Shaper relics. I didn't realize the danger. I got lucky, nothing blew up when I took it apart. But Phyla had followed me. It was impossible for an unschooled vagrant to silence a relic, she said. That made her want to teach you? I think so. She never explained. Maybe it was the way I handled the relic. It took her an hour to convince me to go with her. A whole hour? It's a wonder she didn't give up. I would have. Oh, once Phyla Ray gets an idea into her head, nothing will dislodge it. She sat down with me and talked to me about the Arcanists, about the Shapers. I was... Hooked. Then she sealed the deal with caramels. Sweets? Really? What? They were good. I was hungry. She was the first to call me a prodigy. Now I miss her. Anyway, I... You're probably busy. We can talk later. Her tacit mumbling about the Dominion? Did you know I once hid in a mound of rotting fungus to avoid one of their patrols? Rashes for days. Oh. 
Hops escaped the Tesselar nest? Find out next time on the Detective Hops Mysteries. I'm so sorry. There's been an ambush. Your husband. No, no. Enclave success needs to be shared, right? Hey, buddy. You're getting it done out there. You saying that in general, or...? <laughs> Owen's quick to brag. Not that you haven't earned it, right? I couldn't do this without Owen. Keep it up and they'll be talking about us all over Bastion. You're raising our name. We're getting more offers. I've started color-coding the ledgers. It's beautiful. What about you? Any exciting jobs? Well, besides paperwork? Remember that job my buddies and I took? Dealing with local wildlife. How'd it go? We fly out to where there's been reported attacks. The fort sends word they lost contact with some sentinels nearby. It's quiet. No one's saying it, but we haven't seen this patrol, and we're all thinking it. Not every job goes well. No getting around that. But we were lucky this time. Of course you were. We find the sentinels backed into a cave. They're surrounded by scorpions. We start to divide and conquer. This sentinel rookie with a cracked faceplate mentions they've got explosives. I keep the scorpions away while he sets it up. I don't know what happened, but we get a fire instead of a boom, so I yell, work with it! Next thing I know, we've got the sentinels back, and the rookie's explaining to Vool why he's down half an eyebrow. Now that's one to remember. Wouldn't have done it without your tie-breaking vote. Something tells me the job would have been interesting either way. You never know, eh? I <laughs> guess not. See you around, Jack. Hey, checked in lately? Where would a free? Leave all the mess out here? You can't turn it on.
We're finding some park in the ruins. A very good sign. They could point the way. Thank you. are the same, some are different. Only one thing causes that kind of change. A cataclysm. Why didn't I see it? I think I've worked out a location, though. On my way. Still no tower. I'm as confused as you. Scorpions are swarming the marker. Okay, the room's got us here. Now what? It's an Arcanist marker. Found an Arcanist marker. It must contain the rest of the map.
here if you know what you're looking for. What does it say? It points to a hidden chamber. Deep underground. No. Underground chamber? Not only by invisible rapists. Written in a secret language. Can't be too careful. swim. You sure about this? It's here. I'm certain. Just be careful. This is all proven that very powerful people wanted to keep this secret. Understood. This would have been impossible without your help. The animals, this water, all of it. Impossible. Let's see what we can find. There never was a tower on a mountaintop, was there? All that stuff was to hide something important. Well, you can't be too careful. It's close. I can feel it. What made you start hunting for the manuscript? Somebody said it was impossible. I wanted to prove them wrong. Look out! I see him!
hit it where it's vulnerable. to me, the end of one chapter of my life, and the beginning of another.
good timing. We just got some excellent new stuff. Hey, thanks for checking out my shop. No problem. We've got stuff that can turn a good javelin into a great javelin, maybe. I'm listening. What do you have? Only the finest selection of crafting materials in Fort Tarsus. Really? Guaranteed. You know why? Because our main competitor just closed up shop. Why'd they do that? I'm just learning the regulator game, but my Uncle Ronnie said... We made them an offer they couldn't refuse. My name's Serna, and I'm the manager. Well, what kind of store is this? It's a compound and alloy shop. Sometimes we get in other stuff. It's called Uncle Ronnie's, and my family owns it. Good to know. So don't forget, when you want quality, this is the store for you. Sure hope you come back and do some shopping. Looks like you found a place for your new book. I've barely taken my eyes off it since you brought it back. It hints at so many possibilities. New runes, lost relics, forgotten inventions. It's amazing. Just don't blow your lab up. No promises. What's next for you? Study. I spent so much time looking for the Elysian Manuscript and not a moment on what to do after finding it. That's a good kind of problem. Very much, but I'll still need your help on a thousand things outside the wall. Of course. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm reading about how my forebears use hidden resonance layers to embed information. I'll let you get back to it then. Thank you. And Freelancer? Thank you. Heard Tassin mumbling about the Dominion? Did you know I once hid in a mound of rotting fungus to avoid one of their patrols? Rashes for days. You're looking at me like you want something. What is it? Uh, nothing. I wasn't trying to... Then point your damned peeper somewhere else. No need to get mean. Just thought it looked like you'd use a friend. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry that was uncalled for. You know, I wasn't always like this. I had a bake shop. Made Antium-style bread, the way my mother did. Then my grain supplier stopped shipping Antium grain up north. I tried substitutions, but nothing was right. Got harder and harder to keep my doors open, so I stopped trying. You can't give up. We don't survive out here by giving up. When you run out of bullets, do you keep fighting? Or do you take your losses and run? I could have kept going until I had nothing left. That's not how we survive. We survive by knowing when to stop. That's not always true. It's true for now. Look, I appreciate the talk, but I'll be fine. Still have some savings. Just need to figure something out. I'll leave you to it.
Now here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. Jack in some sort of who can be the bigger hero contest? Patching in Freelancer Yarrow. Yarrow here. Let's see if we can keep some Arcanists alive, yes? Freelancer Wright has begun her patrol. This is right. Like the man says, I'm on my way. Let's see what we can do, Wright. I 
Remember, these tests attract animals. Don't know why. Make sure the Arcanists stay healthy, you understand? Got it. I'll keep an eye out. Wild animals incoming. You see? Every time. So angry.
haven't heard from Wraith in a while. Too many dangerous scars in the area. This is bad business. Scars never get this close before crisis. They aren't getting around. the 
scar bodies over here, away from the campsite. Hey, Freelancer. I figured you'd be back. Why is that? Hmm, maybe because we might have the best compounds in the fort. Has anyone ever told you that you've got amazing eyes? Are you just saying that so I buy something? <laughs> you think I'd make that up? What kind of girl do you think I am? D don't answer that. I just think your eyes have an interesting glint. They remind me of Korok's eyes. Cor Korok's eyes? Yeah, I got a soft spot for Korok's. I know it's crazy because I'm a regulator and we're supposed to be all business, <laughs> right? I guess, if that's what you say. Well, that's what my family says, but I don't care. I got dreams of my own, and my dream is to pet a wild baby Korox. Wouldn't you have to go outside the fort? I don't care. I'm not scared. And I got a plan. If that's your dream, then you should go for it. That's what my cousin Delton said, too. So I'm going to do it. Okay, but... Remember to be careful. It's dangerous out there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. That's why I'm taking Delton. I can't say how he got it, but um, Delton has an awesome gun. So I, I think we'll be just fine. I hope so. And hey, don't forget to check out our new stock. It's pretty good. As soon as I close up, I'm going to find Delton, and I'm going to pet the baby Korox.
Good timing. We just got some excellent news. How's the javelin? Movement's a bit different since the last repair. Hey, checked in lately? Ah, very good work out there with the Arcanists. People want to believe freelancers have their backs. After Freemark, belief hard to come by. Glad I could help. How's Freelancer Rife doing? Good! She put up a hell of a fight. Of course, she knows I would be angry to write her story for the wall. But, my young friend, she is alive. This is a good story to tell. People will hear of it. Think that'll help around here? Oh, yes. Now, Rife is recovering at the bar if you want to check on her. I will keep an eye out for contracts, never fear. That Matthias got his book, I hear. Seems a lot of trouble for a book. But who am I to talk of strange hobbies? Oh, so soon? Good. I have contracts for you. To change minds around here, we need to get out there and do good work. Remind people they can count on us. You hear me? I hear you. You must be right. Yaro said I'd find you here. Yeah. You're the one who flew in with a hail of bullets and flaming glory. Not sure that sounds right. Bet your ass it was. Stellar work, big star. You gotta live that crap out there. That was your moment. Me? I was looking forward to performing some community service with my sword Nelly. You named your sword. Well, why not? Besides you, she's the last thing standing between me and the cockroaches. So, I'm guessing you're here to stay. You've been keeping to yourself, but I've seen you around. If there's work, yeah. I get the impression business is picking up. Been tough for a while. A couple of weeks, I was barely scraping by. 
But man, there's nothing like being a freelancer, right? So hey, thanks for showing up when you did. I owe you one. Glad it worked out. Anyway, I'm probably still bleeding somewhere. Should get that fixed. I'll see you around, big star. Freelancer, listen, this is important. The anthem spoke to me in my dreams. Last night, the year before last, the Shapers watch all seeing, all knowing. You straight up. Hey, good to see you. You're a freelancer, right? I think you knew that. I never assume. Like, I'm a laundry man now, right? But not very long ago, I was a cleaning guy. I figured you were like me, always on the move. We're not that alike. Sure we are. Anyway, you know Yaro, right? That super old freelancer? Sure, I know Yaro. You think you know him, but did you hear about him and the Tesselar? No, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Yes. So, I guess a long time ago, he was guarding some families, and a kid got too close to a Tesselar burrow. It all happened so fast that to save the child's life, Yarrow had no choice but to choke the Tesselar to death with his bare hands. But Tesselars emit an electrical charge. Yarrow would have at least been knocked out. Yeah, but... I guess he held on, even though he was unconscious. Why wasn't he in his javelin? I think it was really hot out. Javelins compensate for temperatures. Uh, you know, you reckon this story, right? Oh, I was just trying to understand how he did it. Trust me, he did it, okay? That's why he talks so funny. He does? Uh, yeah. Have you ever talked to him? Yes. <laughs> you have? I tried to once, but he was, uh, he was too busy. Hey, do you have time for lunch? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, we're both so busy, huh? So, all right, I'll see you around. The Dominion is on the move, and this javelin will enhance your quick strike capabilities. It's evident that your combat skills are improving. Thanks. The Interceptor is not for rookies. That's why we waited to introduce it to you. Corvus developed this suit so our agents could get in quick and get out quicker. This javelin is more agile than anything you've experienced. Sounds deadly. It is, especially when you consider its advanced weaponry. Our agents have found its stealth abilities invaluable in delicate situations. But be careful. Great speed comes at a price. Lighter armor. Good to know. I'm interested in what you can accomplish with the Interceptor.
Are you and Jack in some sort of who can be the bigger hero contest? That's the third Sentinel patrol he's rescued from 